hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel today's tutorial is this beautiful dress it's a show back dress so i know you are interested in learning it that's where you start by so with no further waste of time let's go straight to the tutorial for this tutorial we need a pair of scissors 4.5 mm hook and your measuring tape so i'm using yen yeah, 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 as usual so you start off by making a slip knot so once you've made the slip knot, I like you to chain 40. I'll meet you when I'm done. Here I have my 40 chains. It's about 10 to 11 inches. So the next thing to do is to chain up two. Remember this two does not count as a stitch. It's just a turning point for us. You skip the two chains and go to the third one and make one double crochet. And you go to the next one and also make a double crochet. So for this row, you're going to be making one double crochet in each of the chains that you had until you get to the end of the row. And I'll meet you at the end of the row to show you what to do next. Now at the end of the row where I have only one stitch left. So I have to switch my hook to a lower one that's 4 mm hook then I'll use it to finish up why because I want to hide the tail alongside with my last double crochet and this is the way I do it so the reason why we use this smaller hook is because we don't want that double crochet to be bigger than the other ones okay so now we go back to the 4.5 mm hook now you have to chain three and this three counts as a double crochet okay turn your walk around and make one more double crochet in the same space and now you have your first increase okay so you make one double crochet in each of the stitches all the way down there until you have only one stitch left and i'll meet you there to show you what to do next now at the end you have only one stitch left so you're going to make two double crochet in there this is one and this is the second one so you have made your increases at both ends and this is what the work looks like for the third row you have to repeat the first row which is chain up two and turn your work around make one double crochet in the same space the two chains does not count as a double crochet or anything it's just a turning point don't forget that so you continue with your one double crochet until you get to the end of the row then you turn around and repeat row two and row four so this is how you're going to be doing it until you get to your bust size so for me i am working for a 32 bust so i'll continue this until i have 16 inches <laughs> Why are you running? We are at the 37th row and this is what our work is looking like already. So right now we are going to make our chains. Now the chains is going to be exactly the same amount of the um, double crochets you have here. For me, I have um, 77 double crochets, so I'm going to chain exactly 77 because this is now for the um, waist, that, sorry, the hip. So I want to have exactly the same thing I have here at the back side. So I am going to do my um, 77 chains and I'll meet you immediately after I'm done. So here I have my 77 chains. I'm just going to like turn the work and you're going to connect it on the last um, double crochet here. So I'm just going to connect it here. Make a sleeve stitch. Okay. And that is it. So 
So right now you are going to chain up um two and go into that same space and make one double crochet. Going to the next one, make one double crochet. So you're going to continue with the one double crochet all the way around until even on the chains until you get to this end and i'll meet you here to show you what to do next so i'm here at the end of the row what i just have to do is to make a slip knot and connect it okay now the slip knot is not going to be on the two chains because it doesn't count as a um double crochet so you just have to you know chain up two again after making the two chains you turn your work around and make one double crochet on the space so you're gonna finish right here so you make one double crochet here so here you have your one double crochet now you go ahead making one double crochet sorry I think I made a mistake here so go ahead and make your one double crochet all the way around keep repeating it until so I I started decreasing on the 16th row okay so when you walk through to this side you start decreasing 16 i did not decrease on the 17th i decreased on the 18th not on the 19th i decrease on the 20th so i'm stopping here because i've gotten to the length that i want so now i placed a stitch marker here because this is where i'm going to add the space or the gap i am going to just um chain up one which i've already um done then i will use my uh, scissors to cut the yarn because we are going to start from where we have our stitch marker okay i'm going to start exactly after the stitch marker which is here okay now take up your yarn sorry take up your yarn make um a slip knot and connect your yarn right there connect your yarn and make um two double crochet and in the same space make one double crochet now continue making one double crochet until you get to the other end and i'll meet you there to show you what to do next and don't forget to hide the tail as as you go along here yeah, at this other end i just have to remove the stitch marker once the stitch marker is removed you add the last double crochet into that space and that is it for the row one of this part so now you're going to chain up two and turn your work around in this row we are going to make a decrease instead of making the one double crochet in the same space you're going to skip this space and come to this other one and make one double crochet now since this two chains doesn't count as a double crochet it is already a decrease so go ahead making one double crochet in each of the spaces here until you get to the other side of the work like the other end so I'll also meet you there to show you how I made my decrease. We have two stitches left, so you just have to wrap around, insert your hook, and wrap around, pull through, wrap around, pull through two, leave the remaining two, and go into the next one, wrap around, pull through, and wrap around, pull through. Now you have three strands there, or whatever. Wrap around, pull through all, and that's your decrease. Chain up two, and turn your work around now in this row we are not going to make a decrease so you make your one double crochet immediately inside the same stitch with the chain two so 
you are going to decrease in the second row in the fourth row and in the sixth row then in the seventh and the eighth row there's not going to be any decrease so i'll meet you when i'm done with the eighth row to show you what to do next and this is my cat sleeping and she doesn't want me to like walk she's covering up my space and i need the scissors and it's just like i don't want to wake up like oh my god oh my god oh my and she's awake <laughs> okay guys here is a little behind the scene to spice up the video mm -hmm. now i'm done with mine so this is what it looks like okay so we're gonna finish this all by you know making a chain one and turn the walk around so this is necessary because to me is like um building a house and building a fence around the house so this secures your work doesn't let it slack or you know stuff like that so make one single crochet in that space and in all of the spaces and go around to the end of the row okay just one single crochet and i'll meet you at this other end to show you what to do next here so here at this end you go into the last space there and make one double one single crochet sorry also add one more single crochet in that same space okay just for the curve now go into this space here and make one single crochet continue with the one single crochet in the spaces there until you get to this other side and we'll finish it up now at this end you just finish up and go into the same space that you made your first single crochet and make the second single crochet right there and then the first one go on top of it and make um your slip stitch now you chain up one and you cut your in now to the top at the back we have to finish this up who i'm tired so you find the next connection in between the last um row there and make a slip knot then connect your yen then you go into the first um you know chain that you have there you know where you made your chain and then you're gonna make one double crochet at the end of this row you're supposed to have exactly 77 um double crochet so continue making one double crochet it can be a little tricky because it's a chain and you've already made um, double crochet at the other side so continue on until you get to this end now at this end i would like you to finish up by making your one double crochet stop here and go into this space insert your hook connect the yarn to the side and pull it through this two so this is how we get it connected to this other side make a slip stitch in this space and in this other space to get up to this other row right now this is the part that we decrease so you're going to skip the first um, double crochet here and go to the next one and make one double crochet so here we automatically have our decrease you continue making your one double crochet until you get to the end of this side i'll meet you here to show you how i decrease at this end and now we are here so you make your one double crochet and you're going to skip the last space there go into this space and finish up with your slip stitch and go make a slip stitch in the next and in the next so turn your work and continue with your double crochet now no decrease on this row so you're just going to go into that space and make your one double crochet this is the third row now continue with your one double crochet until you get to the end 
of the row so you're going to be repeating the first and the second row until you we only have 10 rows to work at this back so continue the first and the second row until you get to the seventh row so here we are right now we have three to go i told you it's just 10 so we have one two three four five six seven and we have one two three to go so right now we're going to walk all the way up and down I'm going to show you how to do that. So I'm just going to connect this one. Okay, I've connected it already. I like it to chain one and cut the end. So we are going to start here. So look at the top and insert your hook and make um, a slip stitch. Sorry, the slip knot. Connect your yarn. Chain up two, one and two. Now make one double crochet in that same space. And in this space, make one double crochet. Right now, continue making one double crochet in this connection between this line and this line and in between here until you get to this end. I'm going to meet you here to show you what to do next. So here, remember we have to make our decrease on the eighth row. So I would like you to go into this space because you don't want to have um a, a large space here. So just do like this and into this last one and pull over. Okay, so we've made our decrease and there is no hole left here. So continue and hide your tail as long as long as you go and finish up. So you're gonna do the same thing you did here on this end okay and find your way up here but definitely i'll meet you here to show you how i also did my decrease so here we are at this end so we have one left so we're gonna make our decrease go into the space and also make this and finish up so this is our decrease and find your way up to the end i'll meet you there to show you what to do next now here at the top you chain up two after you finish the first row of the round finish up and chain up two turn your walk around now you come into this space first space here and make one double crochet and in the next one double crochet so everywhere it's gonna be one double crochet all the way we ain't gonna um make any decrease in this row because this is the ninth row for this so you know we only um decrease on the second row so the tenth row we're gonna decrease so you go all the way around place one double crochet on each of the stitches you have here until you come to this end then the tenth row for this like the back side we started and the third for this other part you're gonna do the same thing just come all the way around but when you get to this place you make a decrease on this side and also make a decrease on this side and find your way up to this place and i'll meet you here to show you what to do next so what i'm trying to say is after the second row you repeat the first row okay so you know what i'll show you here you repeat the same thing if you want you can use a stitch marker and place here on top of this first decrease that we make here we made here so that you know um, where you are decreasing for the third row so guys now I'm done with my third row one two and three 
and as you can see here is already curvy so right now we are going to chain one and another one and another one so we have three chains and only one counts as something which is um single crochet and these two counts as a chain so you turn your work around so now you skip this this one single crochet is already covering up for this and skip this and this and come to the third one and make a single crochet so here we have this now you make the second single crochet and now you chain up one and two and you skip one two into the third one you make a single crochet and a single crochet you make two single crochet and skip one and two go to the third one and make one single crochet and another single crochet chain one and two so continue all the way around until you find your way up to this end i'll meet you here to show you what to do next all right guys so we are here at the end chain up two and finish up with a single crochet and this is all for this row you chain one and another one and you cut your yarn off and that is all okay so i'm gonna hide this later i'm gonna hide this till later but for now what we need to do <clears throat> excuse me is to make a very long um strap okay make your slip knot and chain up as much as you can going to go all the way from here and come up to this end it needs to be very long so we're looking at maybe um 300 400 500 depending on the hook you are using but for me i'll make um 400 yeah because i really want it long i don't want to you know have any issue at the end of the day so that's a let's go so once you're done with your 400 chains or whatever amount of chains that you have you just cut the yarn off and chain one and pull it through and tighten it so now is the time to put this in for me i wouldn't like to tie my knots here so i like to tie my knot somewhere here i'm going to put it this way So once I am at this end, what I'll just do is to repeat the same thing I did here on this other side because I want to have it equal at this end. Now I'm here too. So what I have to do is to count the spaces I have here and divide it into two. So here I have um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen so i have a total of 18 so i have to put through this one nine and put through this one nine so this is what our work looks like and this is going to go over to the back of your neck okay so when you put it on you can adjust it through this end so i would love it this way because it is adjustable and you know sweet and nice so once you've adjusted to your taste you know tie your knots and that's all okay so this is it guys thank you very much for watching and thank you i hope yours turns out fine and please don't forget to tag me okay when you um make yours don't forget to tag me on my instagram twitter facebook wherever you can find me and the link to my social medias is right in my about on this youtube thank you see you guys next time bye